Hey, my name is Peter Pearson. My name is Emily Friedlander from La Big Vic. And we're here recording a song for Shaking Through. There will be violin, and I have two cents. Toshio has one. Are you going to do guitar? Yeah. I studied classical music in college, and New York, there's, there's just so much going on there that it made sense. After school, I went to France. I lived there for about two years, and then I came back to New York in 2009. I came to New York City as a R&B singer, kind of like Japanese version of like InSync or Backstreet Boys. Do you have cute um, XLR? Me and Toshio started a project together, and we needed a third person, so we enlisted Peter. We were a really big fan of his work. We'll try to get you guys to run through the song a couple times, mm -hmm. just to sort of establish it. And we can do it just to the drum machine that you guys have. Sure. Uh, and then... They're not just the typical, you know, four or five piece, all dude, Brooklyn indie band. Something, it's something a little bit different and new. And I think that's courageous. We don't know where we fit in. And our music is a little bit, what would we say, cosmic? I <laughs> no, I don't know. It's, Weird? Uh, I don't know. What it is. there though generally permeates throughout right mm -hmm. so we should just get that sound we yeah. can save soloing for later yep. in the day mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay we did a few live takes of um, basically how we do the song on stage then we went back and then individually tracked out each part so Toshio um, plays a bunch of chords I laid down kind of a background chordal synthesizer part, we put in Emily's violin, and then bass, vocals, the whole thing, and just like flesh the whole track out. My pickup crapped out right when we hit the studio. So it's something about this. Yeah, it's it's we had her sort of wrap it around her neck. We had her, the, the, the cable. We, we did all these things to try to keep the cable totally still. And it just wasn't reliable. They came up with the solution of putting a lavalier into the bridge. And it sounded awesome. It made it so we could get really rich sounds. We were able to run it through the space echo. Probably sounded better than, you know, the original pickup itself. Grand Studio like has like so many vintage stuff. Like we had, a, we got like so many ideas of recording stuff. It's good to work with people who are outside of the band too. We always do it hold up in Toshio's bedroom. Yeah, you get so close to it that you agonize over every little thing, and to have an objective ear and someone to bounce ideas off of and all of that is really mm -hmm. great. Yeah, I've been recording like in a you know, in a loft space around the corner where they live, and it seemed like it, they were like the perfect incline in their the relationship as a band that could sort of really grow and like get something out of it. The fact is today, record labels aren't invested most times in the early stages of most artists' careers. Working in this type of environment and, and having a team of people invested in your music 
just may never happen for a lot of artists. You're not going to get a label who finds you when you're just starting out, says, okay, uh, here's all this money and go make a record. And that is difficult, but it's a good motivation yeah. to, uh, to figure it out. Thank you.